back to our channel with Megha. Myself, Upashuna Pandey. I'm a second professional MBBS student from Nilnathan Sarkar Medical College and Hospital. In this video, I have picked up the tibia. This is the pre-axial bone of our leg. There are two bones which constitute our leg, which forms the framework of the leg. One is the tibia, which is the pre-axial bone, and the other one is the fibula. We'll look into it in our upcoming videos. And this fibula is the post-axial bone of our leg. Now, what is this pre-axial and what is post-axial? Pre-axial bone is the bone that lies in the line of our great toe in case of inferior extremity and thumb in case of our superior extremity. So, for the leg, this is the medial bone of our of our leg for the inferior extremity the tibia is the medial bone of the leg and for the superior extremity the bone which is the preaxial bone is our radius which is the lateral bone of our forearm okay now let's go into this tibia as we can see that this is a long bone so a long bone its parts are obvious it should be having one upper end one lower end and an intervening shaft now let us look closely at the features of the upper end of the tibia let us pick it up let me adjust the camera a bit okay so this is our upper end this presents two condyles you see these are the two condyles and this is the intercondylar area. In the middle of the intercondylar area, there is an eminence. This is known as the intercondylar eminence. Okay. Now, how do we identify which one is the medial and which one is the lateral condyle? Let us look closely into the shape of these condyles. This condyle, this looks somewhat oval in shape. You see this is somewhat oval in shape and this is larger than this condyle. This is somewhat circular in shape and smaller. This larger and oval shaped condyle, this is the medial condyle of the tibia and this circular and smaller condyle, this is the lateral condyle of the tibia. The respective condyles of the femur articulates here to form the knee joint. What is the other bone then co that contributes to the knee joint? You will let me know in the comment section. Okay. Now, we have found out the upper end. Let us go to the lower end. Let me adjust the camera a bit. Okay. Okay. So, you see. This is the lower end. This is expanded. As you can see, this one is much expanded. This presents this extension. This is known as the medial malleolus. And this surface, this is articular. It forms a part of the tibiofibular mortis, where the head of the talus articulates to form the ankle joint are we clear with that so this is the lower end this is represented by this medial malleolus and this articular surface now let us look into the shaft this shaft this presents three borders this is our anterior border how do we find the anterior border? Before that, we need to find the anterior aspect of this tibia. Here, the two condyles, these two condyles meet in front to form this eminence. This is known as the tibial tuberosity. So, whenever we find the tibial tuberosity, we should assign that this is our anterior aspect of the tibia. This is our 
tibial tuberosity. Okay, so the border which starts from this tibial tuberosity, you see, this is our anterior border and this ends at the anterior border of the medial malleolus. We will look into those features later. And one more thing about this uh, this anterior border, this is this is the seen border. You can palpate the whole border along its whole extent in your leg. Do it and find your anterior border in your own body. Okay. And there are two more borders. That is the medial border. This is the medial border. If we turn this around in the side of the medial malleolus, just behind the medial malleolus, this medial border starts. You can find the landmark. And again, if we turn this in front, then turn this laterally, we will find this lateral border. Okay. So, these are the three borders. Now, what are the surfaces? There should be a lateral surface. You see? The lateral surface. One medial surface. Let us turn this around to find the medial surface which we can easily find by seeing this medial malleolus okay and if we turn this around in the posterior aspect we will get the posterior surface so we are clear with the surfaces and the borders of the tibia so we have find out the superior part that is represented by the apparent the two condyles and the intercondylar area and the lower end this is denoted by this articular surface and the medial malleolus and the anterior surface that is denoted by this tibial tuberosity which is formed just just in front and below to the condyles and we have found out the medial side obviously where the medial malleolus medial malleolus is present that represents the medial aspect so we have find out the three categories to determine our site so let us hold this in anatomical position okay so let us hold the tibia in the anatomical position and determine its site so this is our tibia this is the upper end this is the lower end this is our intervening shaft so this Upper end should face superiorly and the lower end should face inferiorly. Okay. Now, we say that we find the tibial tuberosity to find the anterior aspect. So, this is our tibial tuberosity. So, this should be facing anteriorly. Okay. And this is our medial malleolus, which is the part of the expanded lower end. This should be facing medially so on doing all this i'm finding that this is my right sided tibia so i should hold this with my right hand and say this is my right sided tibia so this is the right sided tibia held in the anatomical position now your work is to tell me which sided tibia do you have in your bone set so comment below and take care, be safe in this pandemic situation, follow the COVID protocols, be safe. Okay, ta-ta, bye-bye.